Number 16. Tim took a trip to Australia last year. He enjoyed staying in youth hostels with other young travelers. Most of the time, he met nice, friendly people. However, at one hostel, a man in his room kept talking on his cell phone until very late at night. Tim told him to be quiet, and then they got into an argument. Except for that, Tim had a great experience. Question What problem did Tim have? Number 17. Attention, employees. There will be a ceremony this evening at 5 30 because Stacy McDonald, the accounting department manager, is retiring. Please come to the large conference room on the first floor by 5 20. Stacy has been working here for over 20 years, so we will all miss her very much. Thank you. Question. Why have the employees been asked to come to the conference room? Number 18. People are often interested in the last words famous people say before they die. But the last words of the famous scientist Albert Einstein are not known today. Einstein died in the United States in 1955, but he was originally from Austria. Unfortunately, he said his last words in German, a language that the American nurse in his room did not understand. Question. Why have Albert Einstein's last words been lost? Number 19. For many years, Mary has planted flowers in her garden, but this spring she started growing herbs too. By summer, Most of the herbs had grown quite large, so she started using them in the food she cooked. Mary thought the fresh herbs smelled better and had more flavor than the dried ones she used to buy at the store. She is planning to grow some again next year. Question What did Mary start doing this summer? Number 20. Roger traveled to Thailand last year. While he was there, he took an elephant riding tour. He had fun, but was surprised when the guide told him that some elephants in Thailand are treated badly and do not get enough food. Roger also learned about an NPO that helps to keep elephants safe and healthy. Roger donated some money to it because he is worried about these beautiful animals. Question. What is one thing we learn about Roger? Number 21. Do you have a hard time ordering books on the internet? Then come to Mayberry Bookstore. This week we are giving away free calendars. To get one, just buy three books or more. You can enjoy reading your new books in our coffee shop. We also have weekly poetry readings on Wednesday evenings. Mayberry's professional staff is always ready to help you. Question. How can Mayberry Bookstore customers get a free calendar this week? Number 22. The spacesuits worn by American astronauts 
have become some of the most popular items in space museums collections. Because the spacesuits were able to protect the astronauts in space, museums expected they would last a long time on Earth. However, sunlight and warm temperatures have damaged many spacesuits. The colors have changed, and some of the plastic parts are breaking. Museums are now looking for ways to keep them safe. Question. What is one thing we learn about the spacesuits once worn by American astronauts? Number 23. Mitch got a job at an advertising company last year. He thinks of ideas for TV advertisements and writes the words for them. It was very exciting for him when he first saw his own ideas used on TV. He enjoys his work, and some people say his advertisements are more interesting than the TV programs themselves. Question What is one thing that Mitch does in his job? Number 24. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Funland's 25th anniversary celebration. We'd like to remind all visitors that the park is open until 10 p.m. tonight. Starting at 8 p.m., there will be a dance show, followed by a parade in front of the Magic Castle. All your favorite characters will be marching in it. So be sure to come and watch. Of course, all rides will stay open too. Thank you. Question. What is one thing the speaker says will happen today? Number 25. One of the most dangerous animals in the world is the golden poison frog. It is very small, but it has enough poison in its skin to kill 10 people. These frogs, however, are not born poisonous. Scientists think their poison comes from the insects that they eat. They think this because golden poison frogs in zoos eat different kinds of food, and these frogs are not poisonous. Question What is one thing we learn about golden poison frogs? Number 26. Norman coaches a baseball team. They usually have practices on Saturdays. But last weekend, they picked up garbage in a local park instead. Over the past few years, they have also done many other activities, such as raising money for a children's hospital. Norman believes that helping the community is important. So he has a rule that players have to join these activities if they want to play in games. Question. What did Norman's baseball team do last Saturday? Number 27. Today, Wall Street in New York is home to some of the most famous banks and financial companies in the world. However, its name has an interesting history. In the 1600s, New York belonged to Holland. The Dutch people there were afraid of being attacked, so they built a long wall for protection. There was a street beside this wall. So people began to call it Wall Street. Question. How did Wall Street get its name?
Number 28. Satoru goes to college in Japan and he wants to study in Canada next year. He was hoping to stay with his cousin who lives in Canada now. However, Satoru did some research and learned that there are no colleges that he can attend in his cousin's city. He was disappointed, but he decided to look for information about colleges in other cities in Canada. Question Why was Satoru disappointed? Number 29. When Oscar was a child, he loved climbing trees. Last weekend, he went to the local park with his family, and he climbed one of the trees there with his young daughter. He was surprised by how much fun he had. As an adult, Oscar knows that he cannot do such things often anymore. But he was happy to remember his childhood experiences. Question Why was Oscar surprised? Number 30. Bob signed up to run in a marathon in his hometown. He was busy at work. But he trained hard every day after work for several months before the race. Then, just one week before the race, he injured his leg. His doctor said he could not run in the marathon. He was disappointed, but he plans to let his injury heal and then run in the marathon next year. Question What problem did Bob have?